Hello friends, I'm Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. Welcome to Make and Take Tuesday. This is a weekly series that I do on my YouTube channel where I work with a new paper collection tool, die, product, design, and we make something beautiful together. Uh, I'm really loving the plant department from Prima. It is gorgeous. I shared a quick peek at this the other day, but I'm just gonna take you through again. Beautiful pastels, garden scenes that are reminiscent to me of like Japanese art. Very, very beautiful, very subtle, very elegant. This is the 12 by 12, which has gold foil. Um, I just, I really, really like this collection. And I made a little fairy um, shaker box, tag box last week. Um, and I just, I love this collection. I wanted to work with it again. So what are we gonna make? Well, I decided we would make this really cute little flip folio. Super simple design, four and a half by six and a half, so a nice little size. I love little books. Ribbon closure, lots of Rene Bouquet's goodies. And then it's just got a repetitive, pattern little side pocket here a flip page here but then what we have is just a pocket with a flap and it just repeats that itself all the way through that way pockets and flaps so it's a very easy design i think you're going to have fun with this one you can make a bunch in not a lot of time if you don't want a ribbon closure then you probably need to score your spine a little bit bigger because this guy got chunky all right Let's get the tutorial going. We're gonna make a little tag and pocket folio. Tiny, uh, fun, easy to make. So we're gonna start with two 11 by six and a quarter inch pieces of heavy cream cardstock. And this is like a whipped cream color, it's not a yellow cream. And I've put quarter inch score tape on one edge. And we're gonna do our thing that we do when we need a bigger piece of paper than what we have. I'm gonna line this up right along that inner edge. So we get a nice straight piece of cardstock. And then burnish this down and now we can go to the next step. Bring in your scoring tool. And I want to score this every four and one quarter inches. So it's going to end up measuring four and a quarter by six and a quarter, uh, which is a really nice size. And then you're going to cut this four and a quarter inches from that last, like line up your last score line at four and a quarter and cut. Okay. So now we've got this little accordion folio that has these five panels on it. I've got another 11. This, this is 11 by six and a half. And I'm gonna score this at four and a half. I'm gonna score it, I think at five. And then I'm gonna score it at nine and a half. Okay? And this is gonna be our cover. Leave this little flap on there. So we want our book to go in so that the first fold is on the left. And this will ultimately get glued inside the cover so that it will pull out. Okay. 
so it will pull out this way all right so actually the fold is on the right sorry guys so it's going to pull out this way and then this is the spine and this will wrap around and this little flap will fold in like this okay but don't glue anything down yet we're going to start putting this little folio together and the first thing i want to do is on the inside we're going to create one of my little borders in here where we're not going to i just want to have and you can see i've labeled because you know bear of little brain sometimes i get confused so i find that if i label things it helps prevent that so i have two pieces that are cut one half inch by six and a half inches and two pieces that are cut four and a half by half inch and we're going to make a little mitered corner and of course you don't have to miter these if you don't want to miter these just glue them in on top of each other it doesn't make that much of a difference it's just the mitered edges look so beautiful so I put them perpendicular over one another and then I just cut from the inside corner to the outside corner and I'll show you that again see I'm just putting these two pieces together and I'm cutting from the inside corner to the outside corner Oops. the main thing is making sure that your pieces are lined up perpendicular And it only takes a second, but it looks so nice. Um, it just gives it a real professional finish. But you can just lay these over each other too if you want to. All right, so I'm gonna come in with my ink. And I'm using gathered twigs. And I just put a little ink on the edges and those of you who have seen me do this a lot, you can just feel free to move ahead. You can skip ahead. And this is our inside cover. This is just a big paper saver. Now, if you don't care about saving paper, just go ahead and cut your panel. Um, really, it's your call right i just hate wasting that much paper when i'm just going to cover it up And I will tell you, the main reason I did this first is I didn't want to lose those little pieces. So you can wait and do this later if you want, but I just didn't want to lose those little tiny pieces. Now I have a nine and a half by six and a half inch piece of my designer paper. And I put my adhesive on the front and I'm gonna line the front. Okay. And then I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna really get a lot of good adhesive on this spine area. And then also on the back. And you can see I've labeled this so I know what's what.
now we can just re-crease our spine. Come in with our ink. And look at there, perfect, okay? So you can see that little flap that we turned in, I added gussets to the sides. And if you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna show you in a minute, so don't freak out. And I'm gonna take this one and three eighths inch by six and a half inch piece that I found in my scraps. I'm gonna line the pocket face with that. And then I have this piece that is, I don't know, this was a scrap also, it's like almost three and five eighths by six and a half. And I'm going to line the inside of my pocket with that. Go just a tiny bit shorter than six and a half for it to fit inside the gussets. There we go. So that's that back flap pocket. Our border is here so that when we're ready to glue our folio insert in there, we're all set and here's our cover. Okay guys, I wanna go ahead and start working on the inside of this little folio, the folio insert. And what I've done is I've mitered corners all the way through on every page. I decided I did not like the way it looked with the white in the background. It just has so much more depth. So on this front page, I took a six by six from the six by six, pa six, by six pad, sported it for, and made this little flap page. And this is the only one like this. Then we're gonna turn the page, and you can see here where I changed my mind because I didn't like the way it was going. And what we're gonna do is have a pocket page and a flap page alternating. So I've prepared my pieces here. This is a four by 11 inch piece of our whipped cream cardstock scored at five to make this little flap page. So to line this, you're going to want all your flap pages. You're going to want to cut um, three and seven eighths by four and seven eighth inch pieces of your designer paper. And you can do this however you like. I used a lot of the gold foil on this um, but you can certainly do this all from the six by six pad too, if you just want to do the six by six pad. And we're not going to decorate this. I'm just going to show you like how to install these features and then you're going to be on your own for decorating. I will tell you it will be easier on you if you put your folio insert together before you put it inside the folio. So you can see, and it's a time saver if you go ahead and you just cut all your pieces in advance. It will just save you a ton of time. And then on the bottom, this is four and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. And this goes this way. Does it? It goes this way. And we're not going to put magnets or anything on these, so just simple, simple flap pages. We're just going to install them. So bring in your folio. And you can use score tape if you want score tape. Whatever you like. And if you don't want to do the mitered corners, don't do the mitered corners. To me, it just gave it a more finished look. But, you know, whatever you want to do. So there you go. That's what those look like. Then over here, we have, to the other side of it, we have our little pocket page. And for this, you're going to cut a four by six of your patterned paper and glue it down. 
And then you'll have all these scraps of your cream cardstock from cutting your folio pages. And you're going to trim these to four inches by two and a quarter inches. They're actually going to be two and a quarter inches. So you're going to cut three and seven eighths by two and one eighths from your scraps of your patterned papers. And then you're going to put gussets on the back. And if you've never done a gusset, this is how it works. It's a one inch wide strip of paper. In this case, I've gone two and an eighth inches because our pocket is two and a quarter. I've scored it in half to make these little flaps. The folded edge of your gusset goes on the cut edge of your paper. This one on the bottom is also an inch wide, but it's probably more like two and a half, maybe more like two and a half inches. So you put your adhesive on your flaps. And then you just install your pocket. So in your pocket page, you can add tags, you can add little mini folios, you can do all kinds of things. So that is how the pocket pages go in. And then when you've got this all filled out, and you can see on mine, I've written glue here um, so that I don't cover anything there. You will take this page that says glue and you will glue it on this page that says glue and you will put it into your folio. And there you go. So you've got this sweet little, sweet little folio. All right, so I'm gonna finish my pages and I'll be back in a bit. So this is where we're at. I've added my inner folio to the cover and then I ran half inch score tape around the middle and added this tan um, satin ribbon with a grosgrain edge. And it opens, the book opens out like this. It's quite pretty. And I haven't decorated anything yet. I just wanna show you. So this pulls out like this and see so you've got pocket flap, pocket, flap, and then our side pocket. And then on the back side, you've got additional room. So this is a really cool, I like this design. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, and as far as decorating and stuff, I'm gonna work on that. But honestly, this is so beautiful just as it is. I don't know that I wanna over embellish it. I have to think about it because this is such pretty, pretty paper. Um, but I'll, um, I just wanted you to see how it looks when it's all come together. It's, it's a really lovely design. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. And I hope you will have fun. It's not complicated, right? It's, this is super, super simple. Um, these papers are so gorgeous, they dress it up really, really well. Um, so I'm going to do a few little things, I think, but not too much. And I'll come back and show you what I finished with and um, any closing thoughts, all right? Okay, so what did we end up with? This adorable little folio. I love the way this turned out. I've added a dangle charm to the spine, and I dressed up the cover. I added this little touch of burlap. burlap. I wanted just a little more texture and dimension here. Little tiny key, puffy sticker, little tiny button, a bumblebee charm coming out of this little flower cluster here, a Rene Bouquet's butterfly inside this gorgeous Rene Bouquet's chipboard frame with some of her uh, by the sea beads in there. Some stick pins from my stash because it's Throwback Thursday, these rose tuck-ins, and then, of course, the satin closure. I'll show you the inside real quick. I finished it up, and this turned out real cute. I kept it very simple, like I said, because the papers are so beautiful. Just a little folio in our side pocket. Here's my little flip page dressed up. I added little tabs to our flip pages, and you can see how pretty they turned out with the paper. In each of the pockets, I added a little tag or an ephemera piece and a little photo mat or journaling card. Like I said, the papers are so pretty. I just didn't want to overdo it with too many embellishments or anything in here. I just, I love, I love this paper. So wanted it to be the star. Here's our inside pockets inside flip pages. This is a super quick and easy 
to put together because everything is repetitive and straightforward. Um, and that always makes a project go fast. There's the back cover and the ribbon closure, and that is it. I know a lot of you will be disappointed that I didn't show all the embellishment and stuff. It's just a matter of time for me. It's, it's just getting everything fit in. So I hope you can see this and look at the pictures. It's pretty straightforward this time. So I think you won't have a problem recreating this. But that's it for me, Kathy Clement, Kathy by Design. This is Make and Take Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by. Go get your craft on. Mm -hmm.